Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a little bit different than my normal. I actually have never done a perfume collection. And I was like, how can I make this more interesting and useful? And I was like, I'm gonna get Hubby to come in this video and share what his favorite scents are. This idea came up because Scentbird actually asked to partner in this video. And I was like, yes, absolutely. I have partnered with them before. And it's just one of those ideas that you're like, why didn't I come up with that? So if you didn't know, I'll tell you all about Scentbird. They look just like this, and this is perfect for someone like myself who is obsessed with scents, perfumes. But as we all know, perfumes can be so pricey. Like, you know, with my taste, they're like $100 for a full bottle. You buy the bottle and you end up not loving it, right? And that was just a lot of money to waste on something that you don't absolutely love. So with Scentbird, you have over 450 scents to choose from. You get a full 30-day supply. Look how much you get of this. Look at these little travel size things. I keep one in my purse at all times. But yes, you can try a scent for 30 days and you can try a new one every single month. If you end up loving that scent, then you feel confident to go out and buy that scent, right? Especially with me, I'm very, very picky when it comes to scent. So if you can try, like give it a solid try for a full 30 days, then I think it's totally worth it. And you're like, okay, well then why don't I just get a sample? Those samples are tiny, and if you spray like I spray, then they just don't last forever. So that's what I absolutely love about this. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, what scents are there? They have the high-end ones. There's Prada, there's Gucci, Glossier, Tom Ford. Have so many scents, and if there was ever any scents that you were interested in trying, but you just didn't want to fork it out, bro, this is the time to do it. I was able to actually try three different scents and I found one that I'm obsessed with. And if you like the same scents as me, dude, I would totally try this. But that's the beauty of it, right? If you don't like it, whatever. You spent $10, I have a code. So it's $15 a month, but for your very first try, I have a code. I will leave it right here where you can try it for $10. Dollars. I feel like that is an amazing deal. And dude, you get so much product. It comes in this nifty little sprayer. And yeah, you get a brand new scent every month. So <laughs> if you are a scent person as well, girl, this is the way to try it. I feel like this would be a wonderful gift for the holidays, especially if you know somebody who likes some bougie scents or just scents in general, this is amazing. I also got my husband to try this and I picked him out three cents as well to try. You only get one cent a month, but because I partnered with them, I was able to try different scents and give you guys some recommendations. And I really wanted him to come on here and give him his recommendations for the scents that he loves and what I love for him. I just thought it would be a nice twist to the video. So um, he is going to pop into this video here shortly. Like I just had him come in for a, a portion of the video and he's going to share his uh, scent bird choices that he loves and then uh, two colognes that are three actually that are just staples for him and I also have look at this a ridiculous well it's not even that much I feel like I have a like small perfume collection compared to those but I'm like not shy when it comes to scents like I will go to Walmart and buy a scent I will go to Target and buy a scent it doesn't have to be high-end in order for me to like it so if you want to see my favorite scents and my husband's then keep on watching the video all right you guys Here's my baby. And I want to share with you guys the scents that we picked from Scentbird. Do you want me to go first? Yes. Okay, so I'm terrible at describing things. So I have my little notes. I will probably be looking at them. But my absolute favorite that I feel like, you can only pick one scent per month, but obviously I'm like reviewing this for you guys. I could pick three. I absolutely love the, I think it's Glossier. Do you think it's? I think so. Yeah, Glossier U. And they describe this as like a U scent. It like morphs into your own scent. It's warm and it just smells so good. Earthy and spicy, but I don't get spice from this. Does it smell spicy to you? Yeah, it smells a little spicy to me, but still a distinct feminine tone. Mm -hmm. You know, usually you equate spice with a cologne or a masculine fragrance, and but I think, this isn't that. I think that's why I like it. It's a little bit masculine. And yeah, out of all of the three, this is like my absolute favorite. 
and I got compliments on this one when I wore it. So it's fantastic. It is. And this one's your favorite mm -hmm. out of the three. I should have probably started with the one that I like the least. And that one is the Tom Ford Black Orchid. This one is very like masculine, but like grandpa masculine. And I sprayed, so when I spray perfume, I like go crazy. I go all over my body and I sprayed way too much. And it was like, I felt sick all day, right? I had an appointment and I was complaining about how bad this smelled and it like gave me a headache the whole day. And this one they say is dark, rich, black grass cinnamon, totally would describe it as that. He likes it. I do like it. It's a very distinct smell though. So, you know, smells are very particular to the person. Yep. Might not be for you, but. <laughs> It's not for At me. At least with Sunbird, you could just try it out. Exactly. For a month I know. It's for ten dollars, and then go on to the next thing if you don't like it. Exactly. I don't want to say this is terrible because I think I just sprayed too much of it. I think if I would have sprayed once, that would have been enough. But no, not my favorite. And the next one is Gucci Bamboo. So every time I go into Sephora, I smell this, and it smells so good in the store. I don't know if I love this, but I don't hate this. They describe it as sandalwood and vanilla. You can definitely smell the vanilla. What about you? He likes this one too. Yeah, that is more of a classic. This is a feminine smell. Feminine scent. It's sweet. It's very clean smelling too. Yes, it's nice. for sure. Gucci bamboo. I would say it's definitely worth a try, especially if you like Gucci scents. But yeah, those are mine. And I will share this whole plate with you. I won't make Chris just sit here and stare at me while I describe these scents. But those are the ones that I chose from Scentbird. And dude, I'm telling you, Glossier U was my favorite. Oh, and I want to show you real quick how much you get in those. All right, babe, what did you pick? And I picked all three of these out, might I add. So I got three too, and in no particular order because I don't really have one that I like better than any of the others. Uh, so we'll go start off with Mr. Burberry. So like all of these scents, um, well, just to start off with, I don't like traditional musky right. men's cologne that kind of makes you think of an old man or like an old smoking room or anything like that. <laughs> Thankful for that. <laughs> so this, Mr. Burberry, uh, and most of them are some sort of citrus mixed with some sort of wood smell. So this is supposed to be uh, grapefruit along with other wood essences, but it's a very light scent. So it's not overpowering. What I've been doing the past uh, week or two that we've had these is I've just been trading them out every day. So I'm not wearing the same thing. There's nothing that I'm attracted to, but I really like this Mr. Burberry. I thought it was gonna be more of a, an old man scent, but it is not. It's very clean, especially for a it cologne. Is. I actually like the way it smells on him. Uh, the next one I got here is Tom Ford Gray Vetiver. That is and uh, as the name suggests, it's mostly a vetiver scent, which oh, smells so good. If you're wondering what vetiver <laughs> smells like, it's yes. one of those things that like all scents are hard to describe, but it's like a, uh, a, a bitter grass scent is how I would describe uh, it. Yeah. Not a mode, mode lawn scent, so don't yeah, get no, that no, no, in, no. in your mind. There but is a little lingering grass yeah, scent. Yeah, a little hint of huh. it. Uh, Tom I Ford it is... That probably one of my favorite cologne brands out there. And they have some really expensive stuff and they have some less expensive stuff. And it's nice to be able to get this on Scentbird for, for just sure. $10 a month to be able to get Tom Ford. It is a, a great option. Some of their stuff too uh, is like too intense for me. It's too musky or anything like that, but this, this is the perfect blend. Nice so I'm glad Scentbird actually has that one. Yeah. Ooh, that uh, but if I were to have to choose one that I liked the, the most, it would probably be this Gucci Intense Pour Homme. It's Gucci not Guilty Intense Pour Homme, not to be confused with Gucci Guilty, which is a different fragrance altogether. Oh, that smells good. But it's a lavender, 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 <laughs> and lemon and cedarwood is kind of the main scents you get out of that. And it's it has a very spicy, crisp, citrusy smell. That's a good And it does have musk to it, but it oh is God. not intense. And it, it is it's my not. favorite. Yeah, I would say this one's probably my favorite. It's my favorite three. scent out of all the three. Oh, that does smell so good. And one more, or well, actually two more that I wanted to share just because we're gonna go on into my collection. Um, I forgot about this scent. Disregard the cap, we, we lost it. But this is the Tom Ford Tuscan Leather. So this is probably my 
all-time favorite cologne out there, the Tom Ford Tuscan Leather. It's not cheap, so to get a tiny little bottle is probably going to run you $150. But it's uh, one of those traditional scents that I said I don't like. It's a done leather right. scent, but it's it's masterfully done. It It's a distinctive masculine smell, but... Done, done right. Done right. <laughs> I don't know it's how not else to overpowering. Do you, you have to try it if you ever see it. Smell um, it. You, you have to try this one. Uh, it's It'll break the bank, though, so special <laughs> occasions only. And then I also like uh, Loam by Yves uh, Saint Laurent, YSL. This it's stuff my, one of my favorite scents is fantastic. Time. This is... I, for women's fragrances, I like to smell something that smells clean and floral. This is a man's version of that. So oh, yeah, it's great. a crisp, clean, that's exactly floral right. scent, but cut with some wood essences to make it masculine smelling. And it is fantastic. I really like that one. No idea how much that one costs. <laughs> and one more. So he has this scent. I've never smelled anything like it. It's super clean smelling but then masculine at the same time. Cause I feel like I could wear that cologne. I forgot what it's called. What's it called? Nalukoa. So Nalukoa is the brand. Okay. It's a Hawaiian brand. So the backstory to this is I first found this or I didn't find it. My mom, mom did. did. <laughs> so my, my parents live in Maui and they would go to the flea market there in Maui. And the guy who now who started this company would sell soap there. And they still sell all sorts of soap products and bath products and that sort of thing. You can find them online, nalukoa.com. They're sold out actually right now. They're so, sold out <laughs> of the cologne, but they do make a cologne for men and it is tropical scents cut with wood scents to make it that masculine scent that yep. you, you associate with musk. And it's, but it's like tropical floral scents, like it smells pineapple, so clean. coconut. And it's probably because of the floral that it smells like that. But I love the way that smells. It doesn't smell like any of these. It doesn't really smell musky to me, but it smells masculine, if that makes sense. Yeah, nalukoa.com. She'll uh, yeah, yeah. actually write that down below. It's good. But yeah, good job describing those, babe. Mine was just like, it smells pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us. And I apologize if you can hear the rain. We are filming at home. And yeah, show must go on, even though it's raining. <laughs> First perfume I'm going to share with you is actually by Ariana Grande. And I like this scent a lot. This is the, what is it called? The Moonlight. So I have my phone here, shamefully, just because I don't want to be like, oh, this smells like pretty and sweet, because that's literally how I would describe everything. <laughs> rich black currant, juicy plum, fluffy marshmallow, and fresh peony. And I would say this is definitely a, a sweeter scent. So if you're someone that strays away from that, but then it has like the idiot, bittiest amount of musk to it. And it's, it smells sexy, if that makes sense. This perfume doesn't really linger though. Like if I walked past you with this, you would not get a gust of wind of Ariana Grande, you know? It, it smells great. Like if I were to hug you, you'd be able to smell this, but it's not one of those lingering perfumes. I think it smells great though. I'm not disappointed in this at all. And yeah, the bottle's super cute. <laughs> this next one by Dior called Poison Girl is a sweet scent. It kind of has a powdery essence. According to the description, it has like orange scents to it, which I can smell, but it's not, when I think orange, I think like orange juice, right? It's a clear orange scent, but this is not. It's more fruity, and then it has a powdery essence at the end. It's definitely a sweeter smell. And if you know me, I love sweet scents. I don't know why. I love a good uh, floral scent, but I really gravitate to those that are like sexy, sweet, not so, uh, dark, if that makes sense, like musky, if you will. It's so funny how different people are with their scents, right? This next one is Dolce & Gabbana Garden. This one, uh, I don't know if I would say you need to like run out and go get it. According to the website, it's citrus and cream with a sandalwood essence. Yep, I can see the sandalwood. It's definitely citrusy, but there's just a lingering after smell that is not my favorite. It's not sweet enough for me, yeah. It's not sweet enough for me. It's more on the fruity side. I mean, hence garden, but yeah, go give it a sniff. So I feel like every girl in the world has tried this perfume and this is the Juicy Couture. And this is like 
florally scent with peonies. I just feel like this is one of those classic girl smells. You smell this on so many girls and it's just like, oh, I know that smell. It's just like a staple smell. And it says that it has fizzy citrus perfection, jasmine and rose honey, like blossoms. Yes, for sure. It's definitely more on the floral side, but it's also sweet. And like I said, it's just one of those familiar scents. Everyone wears this perfume and yeah, I didn't realize while I'm going through these perfumes, I didn't realize how expensive perfumes are. Golly. Now this one I have used completely up and it shocks me because it's by coach and it's the floral scent this just smells it's definitely floral um it says peppercorn i don't know what the heck peppercorn smells like <laughs> but that's what it says and like radiant pineapple sorbet uh jasmine sambac and gardenia but it just smells so good and with my oils my pheromones it just smells fantastic on my skin and i would uh try this one for sure just give it a spray don't put it on your arm immediately just you know smell it and this just like lingers beautifully off of your skin i would say this one is definitely a walks past her you can smell it <laughs> and also another surprise for me was this amazing grace ballet rose this is a very floral scent it has that rose under undertone very powdery but it's also sweet and it just smells great and it's by philosophy i've never tried any other perfumes by them besides this and yeah ballet rose it's, huh. it smells like a sophisticated baby <laughs> whatever that smells like <laughs> uh the next one is this kate spade truly daring Yes, it's floral, it's pink peony, cherry, and they describe it as deeper and a more mysterious floral scent. Yeah, I would say that, but I would say it's also a daytime scent. It's not heavy, it smells good, but 100% definitely floral, and it's a sweeter floral. Ah, that does smell good. <laughs> And this one actually shocks me. So this next one called Ralph Lauren, it's called Woman. This one, you do not need a lot. Like if you look at the bottle, it's still super full, but I have gotten into this one. It's very, it's a woodsy, musky smell. And when I first got it, I'm like, oh, this is too musky. Like it smells like an old lady, but it's one of those scents that you have to give a chance and let it sit on your body for a little bit. And it just really like melts into your skin. Oh yeah. It says that it has some pear, uh, black currant, tuberose, orange flower, Turkish rose, and like white florals, fearless yet feminine. I feel like that is a great description because it's like masculine, but then it's feminine too. <coughs> yeah, I would give these a try. I will also list all the scents that I am describing to you in the description bar in case you are interested. And this, and I actually had a lot more, but I used them all up. So during Black Friday, Walmart actually, take notes girl, sells celebrity perfumes for so, 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 so cheap. I had a One Direction one. This one's by Mariah Carey. Britney Spears Fantasy and Curious are like my high school jams. And I still secretly love Fantasy so much. I feel like I get so many compliments when I wear that perfume and it's like 20 bucks. This same one, this is Mariah Carey's. Which scent is this? Yes. So I would say with this one, I spray this on myself when I go to the gym. And like, this is just a scent from like Walmart that I bought again, Black Friday for $10. I would not say that this is a scent that you need to like run out and go get right now, but it definitely smells clean. It's a clean citrus scent and it's light and airy. And then it has a bitter or a little bit of sweetness. So yeah, this is Mariah Carey's. It doesn't say what, what, which brand it is but it's the one with the massive butterfly on top. <laughs> and then last but not least, so I love this stuff. This is the Clean Rain and Pear. So Clean has so many different scents and it literally smells like that. And I don't know if this is considered a perfume or a body mist, but this, I'm telling you, stays on your body 
for so long. Oh my God, and it smells like it has rain, like literally rainwater. When I spray this, it smells so fresh and clean. And like, you know, when it just rained on the roads and your windows are down and you're like smelling the outside air, that rain portion of it smells so good. And then it has that sprinkle of that pear mixed in it. Oh, it just smells so good. If you've ever seen the clean brand anywhere, I would 100% try it. Get yourself a little spritzer. There's so many different uh, scents as well, but I really like this one. And I love spraying this on my clothes, like blankets. I just, I really, really like the scent, but yeah, woo! I feel like I was talking for so long about scents that I really have no room explaining to you. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much to my husband for being a champ and talking about his favorite scents. I feel like that would be super helpful for us girls, right? When uh, buying things for our men. And I actually picked all three of those scents out. I Googled like different scents because there's four, over 450 choices, right? Like what do you choose? So do your research. Maybe read a little bit about the perfume before you get it. And you know what? With me for the Glossier scent, I did, I would have never ever bought that for myself or gotten that for myself. And I literally, I'm gonna go buy a full size bottle of this. This literally is, oh, it smells so good. If you like sweeter scents, it's an interesting scent. This doesn't smell like anything to me. I would totally pick this for your first month. Girl, it's so good. <laughs> but thank you so much to Scentbird for uh, sponsoring this video. I will leave my code here again and down below in the description box. I 100% believe in this. I think you would be obsessed with this if you are a perfume lover, especially your husband or boyfriend, whatever friend, loves scents point them out to this. They will love it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Love you.